Hi, so I have decided to make my own linear guide system. And as you can see, I have all ingredients prepared. So on the bottom there is 5mm thick glass as a reference surface. On top of that I have 15mm precision milled board cutoffs. This is aluminium and it is used as a spacer. And finally a hexagonal rod. I use brass because this profile is extruded whereas stainless steel is rolled and it has a better surface. I'm going to do the cheapest thing possible, so basically I'm going to build a fence around these things and pour the epoxy in. The result will obviously look terrible. I'm sealing every corner and every hole with hot glue. Here I had very little space between the end of hexagonal rod and the fence, so I couldn't support it with the spacer, so I had to redo this. But you get the idea what I'm talking about. When all holes are sealed, I applied a mold release agent. This time I used silicone oil, but in my opinion the result would be the same if I didn't use anything. Maybe, maybe for the glass it helps a little bit, but I don't know. Also I have this pre-prototype that I was thinking about grinding it, but that was a really terrible idea. The best way to make this, in my opinion, is to have a steel mold and push the result out of it by some holes with threads. When making this I was using epoxy resin that was quite cold, so there is a lot of bubbles and basically the sliding surface is very terrible. And it also looks like that this cold resin likes to stick more to things, so I have a piece of glass stuck to my sliding block basically. And that sucks. There's threaded hole in this hex rod. I was thinking about using that for separating the rod from the cured epoxy. But using vice is much easier. I had to torque this particular piece a lot, so it's not shown here. I was able to scrape the glass from this block, but it was quite a pain. But you can see that the rest of the surface is perfectly flat. And when I tested it on the glass surface there was no movement, so it's quite good. What kinda sucks is that this stainless steel hex rod is a little bit thinner. It's the same tolerance, but yeah, it's not quite precise tolerance. So I sprayed the inside of this block with Teflon spray. This spray is definitely not designed for this purpose, because it's quite sticky, even after curing. I mean, there are much much better materials for this application than epoxy. And this is the surface of the cold rolled profile. Maybe this is why nobody wants to use this for sliding. So right now I can't really measure the performance of this system. The only thing I can show you is that it really does not like the torque loading. Well, rigidity of this block can be improved. It can also be preloaded and it's quite versatile in my opinion, at least. And what's most important, it's cheap. Or can we say cheapest? I'm going to do some tests on this with proper equipment and basically we can load this in various ways and compare it to say Hywin. What about that? At least I can have some Hywin EG series on hand. Let's say 20mm would be quite good competitor. But really I cannot see any disadvantage that would prevent people from using this for really low requirements applications. Anyway, so I hope that this was somehow useful, so until next time, goodbye.